Hey guys, it's Omrecker, and I am playing DuckTales Remastered today. This is a game by Disney, and it's uh, published by Capcom. And it is a essentially like a recreation of the original NES game that came out back in 1989, very, very long time ago. Um, the art style, though, initially is really, really nice. And you can see this nice backdrop here, and um, I think... Let me just go through some of these settings really quick. Yeah, there are leaderboards now, and the game will keep track of your playtime. Uh, there's also a gallery. I have a feeling that this is something that you just have to, uh... Yeah, you unlock or even purchase over time. You see there, I have zero dollars. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is get started. And I actually played a minimal amount of this game. Uh, also, you will notice that the original theme song is playing in the background. Um, which is pretty cool. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and start, and I think I will start on medium here. Uh, but keep in mind that this is a old school type experience, as in it's going to be quite difficult. Uh, you will certainly die in this game. And the other thing I like is that uh, the characters seem to be voiced by what I believe may be the original voice actors. Get the limo. I shall. So, I don't want to, uh, sh you know, have too much of the audio play here, but, um, and mainly for copyright reasons, uh, occasionally there are issues on YouTube with allowing uh, voice actors or even music to play for too long, but, um, it is pretty interesting, and the game does set up these cutscenes uh, for you. Uh, you can skip them, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that for this one. And essentially, uh, I'm just getting into this first intro level. You can see here that, um, much like the original Nintendo game, you've got similar controls, you can bounce on your pogo stick. Once you engage it, it will stay on, as long as you're holding down the buttons. And you also find uh, little gems and stuff uh, hidden in empty areas, like you see just from me walking through uh, certain parts of uh, this level, that I will unlock them. So here's Huey! Which is really funny, like, it, it reminds me quite a bit of, uh, even like a, a... a video game version of a, a cartoon episode, which obviously this show ended so long ago, but it is really funny... ...to go and hear all of these old, you know, characters I used to enjoy when I was a kid. Now that's what I call a stomachache. You were hit on the head, you moronic marauder. So, we just freed, uh, Huey. Welcome, lad. But Huey, what are you doing here? And uh, these cutscenes do last for a little bit of time, um, and they, they actually come up quite often. Yeah. So, uh, you know, I, I like the voice work. It's actually pretty good. Um, okay, so, again, this is more like an introductory area. But it's telling you that, you know, you can defeat enemies by bouncing on top of them. You can also climb ropes. This brings me up to a vault, so I'm gonna go ahead and open these chests. Oh, I probably want to get that first. And then get this other one, get this gem here, and uh, you can see now I got 50 grand. So I guess this is what I'm gonna be using to unlock uh, stuff in the gallery. And, uh, question is... Oh, there we go, there's a chest. So this is... So you do need to look out for uh, different ways to, to get the hidden chests. Like that, that one chest that opened up that was hidden. Got another gem there. Uh, so then you can also do a cane swing on obstacles. That becomes really, really important when you go and start fighting the bosses. And again, you always gotta be on the lookout for those hidden gems. Hey kid, you got a sandwich or something? <laughs> And there's, a uh, Dewey. Get away from him, you... Right, I'm gonna go ahead and skip this. You can also see that there's a map on the left side there. Alright, so this is a two-stage puzzle. Uh, just gotta punch... Well, okay, so that one activates... Oh, there we go, hamburger. So he's been taken care of. And again, the game is just kind of getting you set up for how you deal with the puzzles. I did. How you hunt a lot? Also, you should notice also the, the animations. I mean, you've got this, like, 3D slash 2D style here. The characters are obviously drawn. Or at least I'm almost positive they're drawn and they're not actually 3D models. I could be wrong. Uh, but you've got that mixed with a 3D background. So, this cane swing, you can actually also swing, or, you know, swing objects up. And then here's our first obstacle. This is uh, stuff that can actually hurt us. 
Oh, and I missed a gem, I just noticed. Damn it. Alright. And we are actually inside uh, Scrooge's vault right now. Okay, so here is a puzzle, and in order to get that chest, I need to knock it down first. Had I destroyed that rock, I wouldn't have been able to get the chest. So then the question is, how do we do this one? Well, instead of hitting it, we wanted to jump on it first. If we had hit it, we wouldn't have been able to get up here. So now I've got 290,000. I've got, I guess, invincibility here? Yep. Okay, so how do we do this one? Oh, there we go. So we hit that one to the left. Then we can get both chests. Alright. Made it through. And another two-stage uh, puzzle here. Yeah, these characters have to be drawn, given their animations. But it looks super, super clean. I really like it. Alright, gotta save Louie now. Alright, so for this one, um, I've already gone through it, so I'm just going to solve really quick. Obviously, there's no uh, major spoilers here. Oh, shit. Alright, here we go. Got it. Alright, we got Huey, Dewey, and Louie. But uh, I do need to point out though that in this game, if you die and you are not at a major switch um, or you know like a save point, then you will uh, end up having to start over. Alright. Just trying to make sure. Oh, I think there's. Oh, yep. Yeah. Okay, so you can find cakes hidden as well, and those will give you a heart if you've got the room for it. So here's our first uh, boss encounter. Not this time, McDuck. All right, here we go. You ain't getting the drop on this big old boy. Yeah, the game is very, very unforgiving. Uh, I cannot actually hit him right now, but you will see that um, in order to hurt him, I need to go and knock his helmet off with a safe. And then go through the process again. Smash him on the head. Oh shit. Okay, well that just hurt me. Hopefully third time's a charm. Nope. Fourth time? Nope. Come on. This better be it. There we go. Five times. Work smarter, not harder. Achievement unlocked. This ain't the last you'll see of me. Yeah. Good riddance to bad beagles, I say. Now, why in the world was he interested in this old painting? Surely there are more valuable. Uh oh. Well, pluck me pin feathers. It looks like some kind of secret code. Boys. Boys! What did you find, Uncle Scrooge? Yeah, what is it? I'm not sure, but I know how to find it out. I'll feed it into my supercomputer and use Gyro's new <laughs> crypto analysis program. Then we'll know what the Beagle Boys were after. <laughs> Stand back, lads. All right, so we're going to feed it into the supercomputer. <laughs> how convenient. Nice startup sequence. What is it, Uncle Scrooge? It's a treasure map, lads. And no ordinary treasure by the look of things. Only Uncle Scrooge would call any kind of treasure ordinary. Uh, look! One of the treasures is in the middle of the Amazon. And there's another one in Transylvania. And one buried ten miles underground. Hey, wait a minute. Something screwy. This last treasure can't be right. Yeah, there's no mountain on Earth that's that high. Oh, well, uh, one's in space. Chuck's guidebook. To get there, we'd have to take about 537 million steps straight up till we reach the moon. Oh, yeah, the moon. moon, moon? It looks that way, lads. <laughs> well, what are we waiting for? 
that treasure's no going to discover itself. So yeah, much like the original Nintendo game, you then unlock all these different levels. Uh, so... Why don't we, uh, let's... Oh man, what do we want to do? Let's check out the Himalayas. Pack my park at Duckworth. We're headed for the Himalayas to hunt for the lost crown of Genghis Khan. Shall I forward your call, sir? The last crown of Genghis Khan. Oh, it's Webby. I totally forgot about Webby. <laughs> oh, not this time, Webby, darling. I need you here looking after the boys. Otherwise, who? And then there was uh, there was a like a super duck. Was it Darkwing? I I totally forget. Indulge me, lads. The last thing this expedition needs is a wee lass about. Oh, I'm going to have enough trouble looking after the launch pad. All right, so here we go. We're going to the Himalayas. Oh, and it's a uh, what's his face? Oh man, I totally forgot about some of these characters. Launch pad. I told you to oh, land launch in the pad. center of the mountain range, not in the center of a mountain. Jeez, and he ruined his plane. I thought that crash was rock solid. The only rocks around here are the ones inside your head. Ugh, we're nowhere near Shadow Pass and the lost See, so it is very much like a... Like an episode. And I don't want to ruin everything for you guys, so I'm going to skip the cinematic. But, uh, oh man, I... Oh, weird. If I use my pogo and I don't time it right, I get stuck in the snow. There we go. This is interesting. I, I, it definitely makes you have to switch up how you... How you actually play this level. Because, it, it, again, if you screw up your pogo, you're screwed. You go right into the snow. Alright, so I think my strategy is going to be just, like, avoiding... <gasps> the bunny got me! Why is there a rope here? And uh, again, really, really nice level design. I, I like the color scheme. Oh, there's another ice cream cone for me. I like that the level is throwing, um, uh, you know, health at me. Oh, please sell me. Okay. So maybe I could have gone down the other one. Just maybe. Uh, but yeah, I mean, a really, really clean art style, a uh, really colorful. Nice animations on the characters. Here now, don't touch that. I need hey. to fix my plane. Stop! Those rabbits. Oh, it's too late. Those bunny bandits have torn it apart. Bunny I've bandits. Got to find those pieces fast. Okay. Um, I didn't mean to drop down. Whoa, spiders! What is this, Spelunky? All right. So, let's see if I can make my way out here safely. Platforming is pretty simple so far. I'm not sure how they're, you know, gonna go about mixing this up. Oh my god, I slide on the ice. Alright, well I only have one uh, heart left. What is that? Oh, I got a piece. Morning, glory. <laughs> now to find the other two pieces. Great. That means I've got a lot of exploration to do here. Oh, I found a secret area. This what is this like Mario? Oh, I jumped on the spikes and died. Okay, so this is where you get to see how the save system works. Actually, I didn't have to start back too far. The question is, do I have the piece that I got? I don't know. Ow, ow, ow. Oh, you damn rabbit. And I, I do like that the level is actually changing based off how deep I get. So it's actually gotten a lot darker. If I can hit one of these. Yeah. 
So I need to be careful of these spikes. So there are definitely hazards that change. Alright. Ouch. No! Shit! And now I'm down to one life. This is my last life. If I die again, I have to start this whole level over again. So again, it is very much like an old school Nintendo platformer. Some people might have a hard time with that. I personally appreciate it. Um, I, you know, grew up with a lot of these games. Oh, god damn, I did again. Ah! There we go, we got a cake. Thank god, it gave me all my life back. Whoa, what is it? Oh, I'm invincible. Oh, I got the other piece! It's the second piece of the fuel regulator. One more piece to find and we can get out of this overgrown icebox. Alright! I'm, I'm trying not to, uh, or I'm trying to avoid turning this into a let's play. Uh, cause this is really just meant to be my quick look. Uh, but I'll see if I can beat this mission, and, um... But yeah, I mean, the, the old, like, you know, Nintendo fan... Whoa, what is this? Cuts me kills. It's Bubba Duck! Looks Bubba like Duck? Pea brain got caught in a deep freeze. But the old school Nintendo fan in me is uh, enjoying this so far. Oh, what happened? Scooge! Ooga ooga! Scooge saved Bubba! There, there, little <laughs> Uncle Scrooge is here to help. Scoot say Baba! Scoot say Baba! Scoot say Baba! Baba help Scrooge! Baba help Scrooge forever! You know, I could use a bit of help smashing away this giant icebox. What do you say, Baba? Ooga ooga! In that case, follow me, lads! <laughs> well, that's interesting. Alright. Oh, he's gonna take care of everything for me. That's cool. Is he gonna beat up rabbits too? Alright, we got more ice boxes. Ah, uh, no! Don't! No! See, now I can't get up there because he smashed it too fast. He's a crazy dude. Oh, and he, he opens the uh, chest for me, too. Alright. Okay, if I didn't get to that first, I wouldn't have been able... Well, I guess I could have from that block there, but... This is the end of the line, Bubba. It's time for you to head to the surface. Bubba home with Scrooge? Aye. <laughs> Hard is waiting to take you home to Duckburg. On your way now. Now, I'm guessing I can't actually leave. Or can I? I don't have all the pieces. Alright, let's see. What? Oh no! But as I've been trying to say, because I, I keep getting cut off by these cutscenes, um, the old school DuckTales fan in me is actually enjoying this quite a bit. Um, I, and I also don't mind that it's, you know, it can be pretty difficult. Oh, well, that wasn't worth it. Oh my god, one more hit and I'm down. Alright. Oh my god. Oh yes, ice cream cone. Perfect. Another cone. No! Right as I got jumped on. Shit. Oh, I'm gonna leave that. So I guess I gave him a couple pieces, but I'm still missing one. Launchpad, that crate looks almost airworthy. Don't crack up, but you can't fix up, I always say. Any luck finding that fuel regulator? Oh, no. Some wee beasties ran off with it in pieces. They've got uh. to be down there somewhere. All right, but I'm gonna need it before I can finish any more repairs. 
is there not something else to keep you busy while you wait? Interesting. Oh, good. So Enjoy even if you don't have all the pieces, there's still a conversation Gee, thanks, boss. you can have. Duck on your pay till I get back. Gee, thanks. It's really funny how Disney managed to uh, to make a character that's based off essentially a, a rich jerk, uh, you know, who thinks he's kind of like above everybody else, uh, into you know a really likable character. Ah, damn it! I died. Okay. I think that. Um, oh, what is this? I was just about to wrap up, but it looks like I can go to other places. This is. I can go in the vault. Are you serious? Do I get to jump in? Wow. Just like the cartoon, you get to jump in the vault and play in the money. I'm guessing this rises as you gain more and more wealth. That's pretty cool. I like that. Let's see what's over here. Oh, this is where I can actually unlock concept art, sketches, uh, pencil renders, background paintings, music, TV show art. Okay, so I need to spend money. Oh wow, some of these are expensive. Um, let's unlock uh, Scrooge here. Nice! So they've got some high detail art. You can see the original Scrooge McDuck in the upper left near the logo. Uh, that's pretty cool. You can see his animation too, his whole walk at the bottom. I like it. You know, this this really brings back memories. Oh, and look, um, hopefully it says his name. Nope. But this is who I was thinking of, the the duck that like turns into like the robotic superhero. That's really cool. And again, you could see in the upper left the original. So this is actually some cool art uh, that you can unlock. It looks like they've got plenty of it. Um, you know, so far, I'm, I'm, uh, you know, again, as a old-school fan of the franchise, uh, I, I like what I'm seeing so far. Uh, I, I am really happy that they didn't, you know, make this an exceptionally easy experience. Uh, I'd, I'd much rather have it be like the old Nintendo game, and uh, so far it seems like it's kind of on par with that. But yeah, if you are a fan of the cartoon and or even the original game, uh, definitely consider giving this thing a try. It is a lot of fun as uh, somebody that's a fan of the original uh, cartoon and the game. And I even beat the original game back on the Nintendo, way back when it first came out. Um, and, you know, I, I do like what I see, but, you know, again, don't go into this expecting any sort of major advances in platforming games or anything else like that. Um, it is a very, very old school style game. It, you know, it kind of reminds me of, like, the... Mega Man recreations in the retro style. Uh, you know, the developers of the recreations didn't really go and advance the series too much when they brought back classic Mega Man. And uh, that's, you know, more or less what you can expect out of this. Um, but if you are not a fan of the original cartoon or of the original game, uh, a lot of this uh, might kind of go over your head. Um, so I, I think this is creating much more value for fans of the cartoon and the original game more than anything else, which is perfectly fine with me uh, But it might not be for everybody But uh, yeah, you know as I said while I was going through the gameplay I like the art style. I like the 2d slash 3d hybrid uh, Music's good sound effects are good voice acting so far is really good and uh, I'm having a good time with it So uh, thanks for watching guys. Let me know what you thought of this video in the comments and I will see you all next time <laughs>